we are asked to use the given model to determine 4 plus 3, or to determine the sum of 4 and 3. Notice the first number is 4, which is modeled using 4 apples. And then because we have plus 3, we have 3 modeled using 3 apples. To determine the sum, or the answer, we combine these two amounts. So we write equals, and then on the right side, notice here we have combined the four apples and three apples. We have one, two, three, four apples, and then one, two, three apples. The total number of apples here is four plus three, or is the sum of four and three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples. Four plus three equals seven. For some vocabulary, an addend is any number that is added together in an addition problem. So four and three are addends, and the result of the addition is called the sum. For this addition problem, seven is the sum. Let's look at two more examples and make our own models. Number one, we have nine plus seven. When making a model, it is important to have an organized model. For this sum, we begin by modeling nine. To model nine, let's use three columns of three small blue circles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have plus seven. So now we'll make seven small blue circles. To keep things organized, we will still make columns of three small blue circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now because we are adding, we combine these two amounts, or combine all the blue circles, to determine the sum. So we have a total of nine blue circles, and then seven more. So there's nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. The total number of small blue circles here will give us the sum. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Nine plus seven equals 16. By keeping an organized model, notice how we can also count by threes here. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 16. Nine and seven are the add-ins. 16 is the sum. For our last example, we have 12 plus 19. We begin by modeling 12 using 12 small blue circles. This time, let's make columns of five small blue circles. So for 12, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, plus, and now we make 19 small blue circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Again, because we are adding, we now write an equal sign and then combine all of the small blue circles on the right side of the equal sign. So we first have 12 blue circles and now 19 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And now we determine the total number of small blue circles to determine the sum. And because we have five small blue circles in each column, let's begin by counting by fives. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 31. 12 plus 19 equals 31. Of course, if we needed to, we could also just count by ones here. But by keeping an organized model, it does make it easier to determine the sum of whole numbers. I hope you found this helpful.